Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to talk about batch processing system, which is one of the earliest version of the operating system. Welcome here and we are learning the properties of operating system and in that series we are talking about this batch processing. So what is a batch processing and uh, how does it work? Okay. So now for, for understanding the batch processing we have to go to the history, history of computer. In that uh, history of computer we find that, uh, that their computer has uh, that time only capable of running a single job. Okay, capable of running a single job. So what happens is uh, they have uh, allotted a time slot and within the time slot a uh, programmer comes with uh, input in punched card or magnetic or paper tape okay so that input is given to the machine a program runs on computer and then finally they take down the output okay so now there is some setup time is there okay for this computer there is some setup time and then there is some takedown time now what happens here in this case is uh, as the speed of computer increases as the speed of the computer increases then this setup time and this uh, and this uh, takedown time, this setup time and takedown time this become a larger percentage it is taking more time rather than you know execution or let's say execution of a program okay so now this becomes let's say a uh, significant in in terms of performance of a computer taking large time to set up and taking our uh, taking down the output to avoid this uh, earlier a forerunner forerunner called the forerunner of operating system okay and that is developed as uh, monitors monitors were developed Okay, so now this is a, a early, you can say that monitors were early operating system. And what was the job of the monitors? Okay, so this is the very early, the primitive level operating system. And that was the idea that let's start, you know, uh, start utilizing. And that time also monitors were developed to for utilization of uh, resource properly. Okay, so rather than uh, having this... Uh, one program at a time rather than let's have a series of programs series of program or the term here in this case is the batch of programs okay. so rather than running a single program let's have a series of program or batch of programs okay. that require a batch of program running on computer right so they, they prepare uh, uh, a, a program, let's say, uh, they created a batch of similar program. And similar program means a program which required the uh, same set of commands. Okay, so they group together and forms a single batch. So now what will happen in this case is uh, jobs are coming into this, uh, this is a written operating system. Basically that time it was nothing but monitors and they are grouped together in a single batch and they processed and then finally output is generated and that can be taken down uh, uh, in a magnetic tape or while, uh, while spooling. 
okay, while spooling. Take down into this magnet. Okay. So that is the idea of the batch processing and that laid the foundation of our early operating system. So this is few points regarding the batch processing and uh, OS defines a job which has a predefined sequence of command program and data as a single unit. OS keeps number of jobs in memory and execute them without manual information. So it doesn't give you any output. Jobs are processed in order of submission. That is the first come first serve basis. When a job complete execution, its memory is released and output of the job copied back into the output spool and later printing or processing. So definitely one of the major advantages of batch processing is the utilization. Utilization of resource. Okay, and uh, it takes much of the work of the operator to the computer. Increasing performance, yes, definitely you are less manual intervention. And if there's a less manual intervention, then it will be difficult if there is a, some issue with program. Okay, then it will be sometime, it may be difficult to debug. Okay, and uh, another problem can be that if a job runs into the infinite loop without uh, any uh, information manual information then it will be you know uh, it is a it's a that operator will be keep on guessing that what exactly happens and uh, loss of work will happen okay so that is our batch processing system